Three of the world's most extreme athletes are about to start the journey of a lifetime. Yoki Summer, a 27-year-old Norwegian who became a YouTube star overnight by producing some of the most spectacular videos ever seen. He has helped push the boundaries of what is possible in modern wingsuit flying. We are a group of people that live a very special and different life. With them is Espen Fadness, a former pro base world champion, known to be one of the fastest guys in wingsuit Espen flying. Fadness. At the age of 33, Espen decided to quit his job and pursue a lifelong dream as an extreme sport athlete. We are doing what is almost an inhuman sport. Together with our flying cameraman, Ludovic Wirth, a 34-year-old Frenchman who has made a career of filming his friends as they discover new ways to push the limits in base jumping. I choose it I, because I love it. Traveling around the world, motivated by one equal goal. They will fly by spectacular landmarks, under bridges and jump buildings in the Far East. Experiencing extreme conditions and amazing landscapes, they will discover that things don't always work out the way they want. I honestly don't think we should argue about this. They will test their friendship, explore new cultures and experience all sides of life, all in the search of the perfect flight. The boys are back in Europe and heading up to Lauterbrunnen, a small village in the Swiss Alps. They've been flying in this area several times before, but now they've found a new mountain area which they have dreamt of flying for a long time. This may be the longest and most technical jump they have ever attempted. This place is where we have flown one of the best lines that we ever did. For us, uh, Lauterburn and Switzerland area has a lot to offer in terms of terrain flying. It's very unique terrain with great forests, uh, it's uh, big trees, a lot of open uh, spaces where you can do more slope flying. It's very easy accessible with, uh, with the helicopters and uh, it's a safe place to actually get the shots that we want to do and to actually get that perfect flight. The idea about this trip was to fly the, the nicest line, find the, find the perfect flight, but you know, I don't know if such thing exists, like perfect flight. I would love to experience that. So I fucked up in Bangkok, crashed like hell from a building and right in the street, fucked up my ankle, been limping around for a week, um, hope I'm ready for Lauterbrunn. Due to a bad weather forecast for the next days and a tight traveling schedule, they have to jump tomorrow morning. So all necessary homework on planning the line has to be done right away. Yeah, the mobile battery. Look at that slope. Is it? This is power lines, yeah. No. Yeah, this, this is, is power lines. Over impression. No, it's power lines. lines. Is it? What? Yeah, because you see the power line. Uh, yeah, that's power lines. But that's okay. We can ones. fly under. Yeah, but Even for, of course, we always have that little pressure because it's a new thing, that new jump that we have never done. But I mean, we did our homework uh, good enough to be relaxed. Uh, it is pretty hard to find the perfect flight. Searching through Google Earth. We, we know when we're here that uh, we need to have everything perfect. We need to know that uh, this is our day. Uh, the thing is that um, in Switzerland it's not allowed to film on Sundays. So we have to go straight for shooting tomorrow. Right. <laughs> we're not going to traverse, we're just going to come around this corner and then we're going to cross over and go down this gully. How high up do you start proxifying? Oh, you start on the, the top Iger, of the Iger. On the top of the Iger, you Okay, start. so you just fly it's on a, the back side, right? Flight. Yeah. It's a super scenic it's flight. A no, scenic not flight. proximity until you're down here. Yeah, you can. Yeah. The scale looks great. The next morning, the conditions are perfect. So, they have to check out the terrain for possible cables in the flying line. But before that, Espen has to have his stitches taken out. Hopefully a soft landing on a field will work fine, but he won't know until his feet hit the ground. When, when you go to an, an unknown uh, territory, something that hasn't been jumped or only jumped a couple of times and that you don't get the infos, um, it's very important to check out the place. So that's where I've been jumping, right? In the spike, right up there. Yeah. There. Those trees are like random, very close to each other. Uh, it's 
not a good option. We need to verify that we know where it is and that we can understand the approach before we actually can fly it. The one over there, wow, that one is super bad. Because the line is down in that canyon, like. But we have to go down and see the 100% details. After checking out the flying area, Ludo is starting to feel a bit insecure. To avoid cable lines in a technical terrain like this is really starting to stress him out. If, if it's way too much fear that overcomes the pleasure, then yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. Puts me into an emotional roller coaster because I'm a little bit more stressed up. Uh, but I also hope that if you do feel stressed about any jumps, that you have to tell us, you know? Like, because I would never like to put you in a situation where you're stressed out or you don't like it or shit like that. I just want you to look at it as, as fun jumping. You're, you're a camera guy and uh, we fucking love you to pieces. Ludo feels he's got no other choice than to go through with a plan if he wants to get the stress level out of his system. He knows that he's an experienced flyer and that this line may be the perfect flight. Breathe, dude, breathe. I'm gonna jump out of a helicopter and I'm gonna fly a few meters above the ground between a lot of trees. <sighs> Fucking nervous, you can see it on my heart rate. The time has come, and the boys are ready for one of the longest and most technical jumps they have ever done. You liked it, Ludo? It was good, it was a good Woo! exit. It wasn't too bad. That was really far, fucking far awesome. Back. When we nail it and uh, the result is good, uh, I'm super happy. I'm quite happy on this one. 
Sometimes when you actually do those jumps with all your friends and you just nail the line, uh, it's a very good, forgiving, humbling feeling. It's like we're living in a in a in a fake adventure world. It's uh, it's Wonderland, you know. In the next episode of The Perfect Flight, we take a look back at some of the most spectacular jumps the world has ever seen. Have the boys found what they were looking for? <laughs> Find out in the final episode of The Perfect Flight.